we've got some very special talented guests on Pet Corner this morning. And they visit hospitals, hospices and rest homes and they're even there to help soothe stressed students. With us now is Rachel Staples from Canine Friends Pet Therapy and her Brussels Griffin dogs Daisy over there with you and Cassie who's just stood up with me. They're so cute. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us. No, it's, it's great that you're here. Um, I know you've been with the organisation for a long time, 10 years. 10 years. So yes. can you tell us what it's all about? So Canine Friends is an, a wholly voluntary organisation uh, aimed at uh, owners of their dogs or dogs and their owners visiting rest homes, hospices, hospitals. Um, we do a little bit of reading sometimes with the libraries, with with um, children as well and it's just people who love their dogs and want uh, to I suppose have other people enjoy how how much they love them as well. Everybody loves it. Are these your dogs? These are my dogs. Do you sleep with them? No. Oh no. They oh. sleep outside actually. Oh, I had a dog called Bessie who ended up being very large and taking most of my blood <laughs> through as well. Um, now what sort of people join the organisation and what kind of places do they end up visiting? So Anyone can join, um, it's, it's open to anyone. We go through an assessment process. Um, we do, uh, anyone whose dog is over a year, we like to kind of have a one year age limit, uh, or age starting point. And um, they can apply online via our website. And then we look at where is best located, where it's gonna be convenient for them. So if it's going to be, um, a rest home around the corner from them, from their work or from their home to make it easy for everybody. So what kind of time commitment um, do your members you know, have to put in? Well, we ask them for uh, an hour once a week or once a fortnight is generally all that they require. And what about your involvement? I mean, how did you get into this? Uh, I was approached in a, at an event. Um, at the time, uh, I didn't have either of these dogs. I had two big dogs um, and I, you know, I loved my dogs, I had loved seeing other people enjoy them and we were asked if we would like to apply, which we did, and we went through the assessment process and, and here we are now, 10 I, years down the track. And I guess the benefits for people you're visiting are pretty obvious that they get a bit of pet love, which we all yeah. like, um, but what about for members, what are the benefits for them? Well, I think the members get as much enjoyment out of it as, um, as the people that we visit. Um, <laughs> just like that, oh, you know, yes. they like to, to share a kiss. Kissy. It's a bit like my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Does I'm he have a beard? <laughs> no, I don't kiss him if he's got a beard. Um, last question. <laughs> how do you get like how do you get involved? If somebody wants to join, how do they get involved? Yes. In? So we have all the information is on our website, which is caninefriends.org.nz yes. and there's an online application form. Once they fill that in, one of our uh, liaison officers will be in touch with them and we go from there. Awesome, thanks so much.